Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer.com and today we are looking at our Kuat Transfer V2 one bike rack here at eTrailer. This is an awesome bike rack due to its versatility so it can accommodate bikes of different shapes and weights and it also is compact enough in case you have clearance issues on your vehicle. This is a single bike rack, so maybe you might be an avid cyclist and you like taking your bike out every day. This is a great option because it's compact enough to leave it on your vehicle. And if you want to meet up with friends, this will work with that. Also, even if you're more of a spontaneous cyclist that doesn't take their bike out that often, but you want a bike rack that's really easy and light to install, this is a good option for you. You can also future-proof this bike rack. You start off with a single bike and then add it on to two for when you want to take your friends out or if your family wants to go with you and then take it off when needed. What I like about this too is it has this wheel mount and that's nice with we have a carbon frame bike here which means that we can't have frame mounts because that might warp the frame. Also, if you have a step-through bike or a children's bike or a women's bike or alternate frame bike, this wheel mount really helps with that. The weight capacity for this bike rack is 60 pounds per bike, so electric bike owners, I'm talking to you. And if your bike it does weigh over 35 pounds though, you can use this safety strap just to make sure that it's secure to your bike rack. This fits tire widths of up to 3 inches and with the fat bike strap adapter you can fit tire widths of up to 5 inches for your heavy fat bikes and you would also need the safety strap with your fat bike tires. The wheel mount has this lever that you have to press. Now, at first use, it may be a little tricky and you might need a little bit extra force as you do so. So make sure to support your bike when using it. And then you ratchet down to secure your wheel. Try to keep it as close to the front of the wheel as possible for maximum security. This comes with an integrated cable lock and two keys and a nice little bottle opener, which is nice. And to use it, you just put those in there in your lock. Turn it to release your cable lock. And you can wrap this cable lock around your bike and insert it and take the keys off to secure your bikes. These have tire straps that can be adjusted independently. Again, if you have fat tire bikes, you need the larger and longer strap. And to adjust it, you can adjust them on the left or on the right by pressing the lever in. And that's to allow uh, the perfect fit for different tire widths and sizes. One of its features is that it can tilt away and I actually really like this design because you can use your foot for this one, hold on to your bike rack, step on that lever and then your bike rack tilts away which allows you to lower your tailgate or access your hatch without taking your bike off. Let's take a look at how it looks with our SUV here. Now this may depend on the length of your handlebars or the size of your bike, but as you can see, there's plenty of room between our door and our bike. Now to take the bike off, what I like to do is to start with the wheel straps. So you press that lever to release the wheel strap, and then you go up here to the front wheel clamp and make sure to support your bike while doing so. Press that lever, lift that clamp up and out of the way. One thing I'd like you to note here is how you only have to lift your bike up just a little bit, which is nice if you have an extra heavy electric bike. For bikes of different wheelbases, you can move this rear cradle back and forth to accommodate those bikes. The maximum wheelbase this bike rack can accommodate is up to 50 inches. Now every bike adds some length to the back of your vehicle. Let's see exactly how much this bike rack has and it will depend of course on where your hitch is. So I'll measure from the hitch pin hole all the way to the end of the bike rack which is by the lock at the end and it sits at 28 inches. Now for ground clearance, my base measurement is the center of the hitch pin hole to the ground which is 13 inches and with that in mind, our ground clearance from the bottom of the bike rack right over here is 17 and 3 quarter inches. Now closer to the shank, the bottom is 12 and 3 quarter inches. For when you want to drive around town and make sure it's in the most compact position, you can fold it up. To do so, you can also step on it or use your hand to fold it up. 
just like that and it snaps back into place in the folded up position. Let's take some measurements. From the center of the hitch pin hole with it folded up to the end of the bike rack, it is 16 and 3 quarter inches. Now for closest point, in case you have a spare tire or a bumper that really sticks out far, you have it at the hitch pin hole to the closest point, which is the cradle, and it sits at 9 and a half inches. A special feature of the Kuat transfer design is its goal post or U-frame design. One, this allows it to be a bit easier to mount and dismount your bikes. Also, you can see how it does not obstruct our taillights, our license plate, or even our backup camera. This fits into an inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. It has a sleeve around it, so we have it installed into a two inch hitch. But if you have a smaller hitch receiver, you just take that sleeve off. It comes with a hitch pin and clip. You can also upgrade to a locking hitch pin from Kuat. We have those part numbers right here at eTrailer.com. This has an anti-rattle mechanism, which uses the included eight millimeter tool to tighten down. Now, please don't lose this tool as you need it to remove your bike rack. While this is a lightweight bike rack at 26 pounds, it's also very sturdy with the anti-rattle mechanism fully tightened. You can see how it really clamps into your hitch receiver. And as I shake it, I'm really shaking the car at this point. The bike rack comes with this reusable canvas bag, which you can keep your tool for the anti rattle mechanism, as well as your keys in there. It also comes with all the tools you need to assemble this bike rack. Now, I had a discussion with some of my coworkers about the Kuat Transfer Version 2 bike rack and some of the design decisions they made with this. Let's take a look at that. Do you have any questions about the bike rack? How do you like that rack? I know Kuat was really, really thrilled to be able to announce this version two of the transfer. So uh, I want to know what you think of it. Well, I enjoyed using it a lot, putting it together. One of the things that actually stuck out to me was how smooth the whole system is. Because I know Kuat does have their levers, which you can just step on. And, um, but this is the most kind of user friendly of the bike racks that I've used down here. So that that was the biggest thing that stuck out to me, but also has a bunch of nice features, you know. But that's what I like a lot. Now, to install it, it, it was a, uh, a ball cam. Yeah. Can you kind of go over that real quick? Yeah, so that's one thing about it that was interesting. Well, because it uses a tool to activate the anti rattle mechanism. Now I know for the other bike racks, when you have this, usually it's a knob, which you tighten down, but this one requires a tool. So on one hand, it helps because it's like a safety mechanism to make sure if you don't have this tool, you can't uninstall the bike rack. But on the other hand, it's, it's a little bit more effort compared to a knob. Now, is they do that in lieu of a lock, so there, there's no locking hitch pin? Yes, so there is no locking hitch pin. It's a hitch pin and clip. I mean, you can also pick up the locking hitch pin if you want to lock it. The main locking mechanism here is on the cable lock for the bikes to lock them to the bike rack. And that's an upgrade over the original transfer. The original transfer did not have locks. Yes, it is. So this is an integrated cable lock. Now, just one thing is it doesn't have a lock hitch pin. Okay. But honestly, if, if somebody didn't have, what, is that just a standard Allen wrench? Yes, so it's a hex key um, with a, a hole on the inside. So if you have the hex key of this size, but not the hole, it won't work. So it has to have that hole in it. So it's their own design. Sure. And probably not a lot of people are going to be carrying that around to be able to swipe that rack. Yeah. So it's a six sided two, four, six sided hex key and it has that special sized hole. So unless they have this, it's its own form of lock. Okay. 
Um, they also updated the cradles. Yes. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at those cradles. Do you remember what the cradles looked like or in the old version? They were very similar, but I, I believe they were a bit wider. They were okay. So this one has the cradle here and this rotates and you have your straps on each side and then you have your large cradle here in the front for your front tire. Uh, this can also be tightened down. I like it. I think it's a lot. It's a very compact in terms of design. Uh, for here, you just need, if you have a fat bike, you just need to change the strap and not the whole cradle, which is sometimes other bike racks have you change the cradle. For here, it's just a strap if you have a fat bike. And it looks like they included the bolt on the other cradle so you can change the angle of it. Mm hmm So, yeah, the tools are all, all come in with the bag. So everything's here for when you want to adjust things. And to tighten things down, you can tighten them down both sides. I have them really tightened down, so. But yeah, I have that tightened down. This one can still rotate or move back and forth. Oops. Okay. But yeah, just want to adjust. I do like the cradles though. I like how they're designed. They look and feel very sturdy, which is awesome. There we go. And they rotate on itself. So not on the bike rack, but on itself. Yeah, anything else you want to look at? Well, we're no, it, it just it looks like they did a real good job of building it. It looks really sturdy. Could you just yeah. reach up and kind of shake it a little bit to see how tight that is in the hitch? The in the hitch? Okay. Yeah. So I have it tightened down, I believe. Yeah, so I have it tightened down a little bit. Here, I'm changing the bike. Yeah. You can see do you see the 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 car itself shaking. So that may be one thing for people who are worried because it has, it's an engine important two inch hitch adapter. Some people don't really trust that the sleeve is enough to make it tight in the hitch, but because of that anti rattle mechanism there with that tightening of uh, the tool, you can see even with the adapter sleeve on, it's, it's in there. Right. You saw how this looks on our vehicle here. Let's see how it looks in action on our test course. Of course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. My final thoughts about this bike rack is I love its unique goal post design for those who are worried about clearance issues or when you're road tripping through different states that have different laws about covering different parts of your cars. This is a really good option. Also, I like how you can add on to it for when you upgrade your bikes or you have a friend along with you. And overall, it's nice, it's sturdy, and it looks really good. It's pretty solid bike rack. And that was a look here at our Kuat Transfer V2 one bike rack here at eTrader.com.